Global education. Cajun spices. South Carolina. Eduardo Jordan brings southern food and soul food to the masses at his restaurant, June Baby. A little bit of southern boiled peanuts here. Um, we are uh, exploration in southern food. He's big on education because June Baby has to do a lot of it. Because we're not in the south up here. We're in the Pacific Northwest, so there's, a lot of things are unfamiliar. Unfamiliar like these, boiled peanuts. They're not usually seen in the upper left U.S. At least when I've talked to some people here, they're like soggy peanuts. Peanuts, yeah. What's good about that? But I mean... No, cooked properly, they yeah. have the texture of a beautifully cooked bean. They're young green peanuts before they get roasted or toasted or dried. Yeah. Um, and, and so they, they, they have the texture and flavor of a legume or bean. Oh, yeah. June Baby is one of Seattle's most popular restaurants, but Southern and Soul Food are still fighting a battle against really harmful stereotypes. Yeah, I think Southern food has always had a misconception about it, but for me, Southern food is the building blocks of America. Um, they're, they're from a deep, dark history standpoint. It's important that we, we stop and highlight Southern food. You know, we can put it on the same, the same table as some of the, the high-end cuisine that, that has been talked about for many years, you know. This can stand up next to any other fondue. This being pimento cheese. This stuff is like... It's, it's addictive. It's, a, it's addictive, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, dig in, I'm please. going for it. So what's in. what's in pimento cheese? Typically, it's a, it's a cheddar. Right. Um, you know, depending on who's making it and where you're from, yeah. it could be um, cream cheese in there, mayonnaise. Right. The most important factor in there is the pimento pepper. To Chef Jordan, Southern food is based on seasonality and locality. Soul food tells the story of black Americans. When I think about soul food, I'm thinking about my ancestors and the foods that they created to fulfill their soul, to enrich their soul, to get them by through all the pain and struggle, to bring happiness. And a dish that tells his family's own story is oxtails. And, I, and so I wanted to pay homage to my mom um, in this restaurant because this, this restaurant is all about the history. My mom, my grandmother, my ancestors. This is how I ate oxtails, on the bone, Umptious, beautiful, a little bit of the fat, um, meat, soft and tender. Yeah. I've never had oxtail before. This is oh actually good for me too. God. I I'm thought excited. you said you're from the South. Yeah, yeah, I missed that one. But after trying it, I lamented all of the years I hadn't been eating oxtail. You know, that's the amazing thing about Southern food that we don't get to see because there's not a lot of us stopping and highlighting it the way it should be. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're educating people about Southern food, the history, the good, the bad, the beauty of it. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm proud to do that.